The Tender Bar is a coming of age story based on a memoir set in 1972 about a young boy named JR who has an absentee father. He and his mom fall on hard times and move into his grandfather's house. JR, he's still searching for that father figure and he finds it in his uncle Charlie. This Friday in the E Block, I talked to three stars of the film Ben Affleck, Lily Rabe, and Daniel Ranieri about their latest film. Welcome. Your only uncle, so I'm also your favorite uncle. Ben Affleck stars in the tender bar as Uncle Charlie. I have no idea how but you are going to law school. Lily Rabe stars as JR's mom, and Daniel Ranieri landed his first role on the big screen as young JR. Find some other activities. I like to read. I asked the 10 year old what he did to calm his nerves on set. Uh, I try not to look in the camera that much because then if I look in the camera, I know that someone's filming me and I get nervous, so. You never seem nervous to me. Did you get nervous? The first day I was a little nervous, but were you? after you that. Nothing. You were like Tom Brady out there. You know, nothing phased <laughs> you. You know, just like a vein, ice water in the veins. And I'm gonna always tell you the truth. Your father is a dead beat. Playing Uncle Charlie, you are like this father figure to Jr. Being a father yourself, what really resonated with you in that role? You know, um, everything. I mean, the the central focus of my life really is about um, being a father, and 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 not because it's. Uh, job but because uh, uh yes it's a the responsibility and i don't understand really people who abdicate that responsibility at all in fact i think it's like profoundly awful and irresponsible but i do also get so much out of it myself george clooney directed the film ben says he created a safe environment on set that translated to the screen i mean as an actor uh, you know at my age or at his age i think you benefit from this sense of being supported that you can fail and it's okay and you try things and that you're not going to be judged and all those things really matter as an actor. Lily, it's such a great message of family and love and support uh, considering all the turmoil we're experiencing in the world right now. What do you hope people take away from the film? I'm so excited to share the movie with people. It's been such a, a privilege and a joy to just now start to spend time with people who've seen the movie. Um, because I think everyone will connect to it personally, but uniquely, and the movie is built for that. I think it's sort of built for everyone to have their own individual personal experience, but I think that's something that we will, that, that everyone will hopefully feel, um, and that I felt so much in the making of the movie, is that there is hope, there is a, a, a wonderful heart and a sort of authentic hopefulness to the, to the film. The Tender Bar had its Hollywood premiere a little bit earlier this week. You can see here, Benifer looked stunning on the red carpet together. You can see the film today in select theaters and everywhere next Wednesday, December 22nd. Starting on January 7th, you will also be able to stream it on Amazon Prime. The Tender Bar, again based on a memoir by Pulitzer Prize winner J.R. Moringer, who, fun fact, used to live here in Denver. In the studio, Eric Lopez. Lopez, 9 News.